What's up guys, Game Fiend Fiend of All Games here and I'm back giving you another drama script this Saturday. Um, this is going to be a very, very quick, short and brief drama script this Saturday. But um, I don't know if you guys, you probably heard the news by now. Uh, Fox Entertainment acquired the rights to broadcast SmackDown Live on their uh, upcom one of their upcoming network TV channels starting roughly in October of next year. And the price that they had to, that Fox had to pay was pretty enormous. Uh, the deal is roughly over one billion dollars over the next five years. So shout outs to one of my boys named Ariel. He actually broke down rough math. He goes one billion for five years, 52 episodes a year, two hours an episode roughly equals to just I'm not gonna say the, the exact number because he really broke it all the way down to the pennies so that's just just under two million an hour for Smackdown and just over 32 grand a minute just just to you know breaking it down breaking it down so if SmackDown, the B show now is the billion dollar show, when the USA network contract runs out on Raw, how much can Vince get for Raw? If he got a billion, excuse me, allergies, if he got a billion dollars for the B show, Raw minimum, minimum is at least 2.5 to probably 3 billion. If you want to think about it that that way, because if he got the B show for, if he got SmackDown, which is the B show, he got a billion dollars for. Imagine how much he could get for Raw, the A show. And Raw's three hours. So yeah, but there have been plans of starting next October when SmackDown does go to Fox. They were thinking about putting it on Friday, but. They want to move it back to Friday. They don't feel like they can get good ratings if it is on Tuesday. They're not doing Saturday, which I think Saturday would be horrible. Saturday would be horrible. They put back on Saturday. No one's gonna, no one's gonna watch. That's probably one of the reasons why main event Saturday got canceled. The ratings were just probably down because people go out on Saturday unless it's like midday which I don't see that happening or extremely late which I don't see that happening either yeah I don't think they're gonna put a live show on on Saturday and plus they're they're already in competition with with against sports now fighting for ratings now now think about a Saturday <sighs> like I think perfect example I think this Saturday if one of the games go to a game seven, there's a playoff game and there's all of baseball season. And then you would want your show to compete against all that. Yeah. So Saturdays are just... I mean, they have to deal with it now, but Saturday just seems a lot worse. And then people go out and do stuff. So yeah, Saturday just doesn't seem like a good idea. So they're, they're looking like they're aiming towards more of Friday when Fox you know, gets it starting all the way in October. Uh, so yeah, you guys can leave your thoughts on what you think about Fox Entertainment, basically Disney, owning the rights to uh, to broadcast uh, SmackDown on Fox. Uh, there was something else I can't, maybe going through here, would, no, that's basically it. Yeah, that's oh, all out sold out within 30, 30. All excuse me, all in sold out within 30 minutes. And if you guys don't know what what all all, all in is, it's a it's Cody Rhodes and the Young, basically the Bullet Club, uh, wanted to host their own indie show. And there's not even a match card yet. There's they only have a list of appearances. And off the top of my head, it's all of. North American Bullet Club, 
and um, Marty Scroll, because Marty Scroll is from UK. That is not your North American. That's definitely Europe. So all of North American Bullet Club, uh, Marty Scroll, Jay Lethal. That's the only people I can think that's off the top of my head. And the, the inside joke is they're still trying to book Flip Gordon, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be there. Like, there's no reason why. He's on every Elite video. I don't see why Flip want to just be probably not, even as if he's just there as the bear flip I'm assuming flip court is going to be there and it's so so something that doesn't bullet club is so over something that they don't even have a, a match card for <sighs> sold out within 30 minutes and it's Sears sorry is it yeah the Sears arena has roughly 10,000 seats so to sell out 10,000 seats in 30 minutes is, is a lot let me just double check. But yeah, to sell out that that many seats in 30 minutes is is a lot. A lot. Doing a quick 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 check. Yeah, Sears Center. Okay, yeah, and it's just around 11,000 people. So, and that all sold out in 30 minutes. Now, there's tickets on stuff up the front row for $1,000. I don't know who's going to pay $1,000 to see a Bullet Club in the front row. I sure as heck's not, but someone is, or those tickets are just going to sit there, and then the, whoever put those tickets up on stuff up, they're going to lower the price. So, yeah. But that's going to wrap this up for this week's drama script of Saturday. Uh, please leave your thoughts and opinions on what you thought about this video or any topics that I've talked about in this video. And until next Saturday, guys, I'm out of here. Later and peace.